Hi friends! Welcome to the Full Heart mini course all about human design authorities. I'm so excited that you are here. Do you ever get stuck in over analysis paralysis? Like you're trying to make a decision and it's just going and going and going up here and then you ask somebody else what you should do and you get different advice? Like what does your gut say? Follow your intuition. Follow your heart. Listen to your mind. Make a logical choice. Your heart doesn't know what it wants. It's gonna change. Oh my gosh, it gets exhausting and frustrating and annoying. Well, I'm here to tell you that you are born with a specific way to make decisions. And I'm gonna share with you how to access that. My name is Rebecca, the Full Heart Coach, and I use human design and Reiki to help you release old patterns and limiting beliefs and live a life more in alignment. That's perfect for you, not for anybody else, for you. My mission in life is to help you to fill your heart so much with love that it overflows and then we can heal the world one full heart at a time. In this video series, we're going to talk all about authority and supporting you and making the most energetically aligned decisions for you. In this video specifically, I'm going to talk about what to expect. I'm going to talk about how to find your authority and then I'm going to tell you what even is authority? What is this thing and why should you care? So let's get started. First, what to expect. Again, in this specific video, we're just talking about overall what is authority. In the next video series, I have eight videos set up for you because there are eight authorities according to human design. And so each video is designed for just that specific authority. So once you find yours, you can look at that video and move on. If you would like to look up your partners, your kids, your best friends, anybody else's chart, and then look at their authority so you can understand them better, you're more than welcome to. Watch as many or as little of these videos as you would like. It is totally up to you. These videos aren't going anywhere. You can reference them later at any time. The video series after that will have eight different meditations aligned to the different authorities to help you really access that because I've found a lot of times people have been so stuck in their brain because of the conditioning of our world, that they've forgotten how to be in their body and like how to really access their authority. So that's what to expect in this beautiful series coming up. But in this video, again, we're gonna talk about how to find your authority and what it is. So first, how to find it. There is a link in the description of this video, and if you follow that, it'll take you to a website called Jovian Archive, and it will ask for your birth information. You need your date, time, and place of birth. This will bring up a chart for you. Now, let me explain something first about the birth time. I've met plenty of people who do not have their birth time, and that's fine. Reach out to me if you want some support on this, but let me tell you really quick what I do. So I'll put in the information and I'll put in 2 a.m. for the birth time and look at that chart. And then I put in noon for that date and then I look at that chart. And then I put in 10 p.m. for that date and I look at that chart. And then I see what is similar across all three charts. Some days there's not too much happening in the stars. And so it's like all three of them will be emotional projectors. So then you know you have emotional authority. Some days there's a whole bunch of mess going on and each three charts might be different. If you need support in this area, feel free to reach out. It's no problem at all. And then we'll just go from there and figure out how to make this the best thing for you. So now let's talk about what is this thing and why should you care? <laughs> authority, according to human design, is how we are specifically designed to make decisions. There are eight different authorities. So all that stuff that people are telling you, follow your gut, what does your intuition say, follow your heart, are all correct for them. It may or may not be correct for you. The one thing that is not correct for anybody is make a logical decision in your mind. We're not designed to make huge decisions from our mind. This is a great external authority. It's a great way to help other people outside of yourself, but it's not a great way to make decisions aligned for you and what is best for you and your spirit and your energy. 
So let's get you out of the head and into your authority. So these different authorities apply to different things. And the reason I chose this one specific one to share with you is because if you just want to take one piece of human design with you and then move on with your life, I feel like this would be the most supportive in you because it helps you make the best decisions. And it also helps you understand that other people have different ways of making decisions, which is so empowering, right? Because if you have sacral authority, then you have a full body yes or no intuition. Like you have that gut response that is like, yes, let's do this thing. That would be good. And then you might have a partner who has emotional authority who really needs to take a couple days to ride their emotional wave, come to a calm place and figure out what it is they actually want. Now, this could be exhausting in a relationship if you don't totally understand what's going on, right? One person's like, why don't you know? Just just do it. You should just know. Another person's like, I don't know. I'm just like, I feel good now, but I'm not sure I'll feel good about it in a couple days. And I, I don't know. And or it's like, just relax. Just let's feel it out. Let's see what happens. And this guy's like, no, I just I know. I don't know why the sacral's ang angry and the emotional person is all like flowy, but that's just what's happening right now. So I'm going to go with it. So, <laughs> so as you can see, this could be an exhausting dynamic in a relationship. But once you understand how you are designed to make decisions and how your partner is designed to make decisions or your kid or your best friend or your coworker or whoever else is in your life, then you're able to support each other better. And the more you support yourself and stand in alignment and live in alignment for yourself, the more you empower the other people in your life to do the same. So, and that's a beautiful thing, okay? So once you learn about your authority and once you li listen to the meditations, then let's start practicing this every single day. Like get in the habit of really checking in with your authority as much as possible. Set alarms on your phone to help remind you to check in. Uh, just start asking yourself with everything. Like just ask your authority. If you're splenic authority, say, hey, spleen, what do you think? Or if you're sacral, you know, check in or however it is. <clears throat> we'll go over different ways in the for four coming videos. But just know that this is a great time to really dig in every single day to check in because the more you do that, the easier it'll get to tune in, the louder the voice of your authority will be, and the smoother your life gets after that. And who doesn't want that, man? Smooth ride. Full heart, smooth ride, easy life. I just made that up. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> So let's wrap this video up and get to the juicy stuff, okay? So here's what we did today. We talked about what to expect in the next coming videos. You got a series on the authorities coming up. You got a series on meditations to tap into the authorities coming up. It's going to be awesome. We talked about how to find your authority. You go to the website, you put in your information, and you look for inner authority. And then we talked about what even is authority? Why do you care? Right? And it's all good. So let's get ready for this next video series, tapping in to your authority.